Hey everybody, Adam Markfeld with Paracore. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Facebook ad frequency, what it means and how to analyze it. Uh, we're also gonna talk about what frequency is too much and how to look at how frequency varies between different time frames. because some people don't realize that frequency is actually a function of the time frame that you've selected. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the Facebook ads manager and what you can see is just a campaign that we have running or an account that we have running. And in columns, I just selected performance, which is the default. And if you scroll over, you see this column frequency. So frequency is the average number of times each person saw your ad, and it's an estimated metric. It's not an exact metric. Now what you'll see here is we have a couple different types of campaigns. We have a first touch on our messenger campaign. We've got a retargeting campaign, a first touch for lead generation, first touch for traffic, and then first touch for our webinar. So the traffic lead gen and messages are the, the objective that we're running. And then first touch is kind of the, the style of the ad. So it's a first touch ad. And then uh, you know here we have retargeting, which is just traffic. And then first touch, which is a webinar. So this is for webinars that we're running. All right, so when you look over here, uh, this month, December 21st to the 13th, the frequency is 1.84, 5.53 on the traffic campaign, 1.51, 3.30, and 2.17. So what this means when you're looking at it, what you're describing it as, uh, when, when you're describing it to a client or someone, is that people on average have seen the ads in this campaign 1.84 times in the last 13 days, from December 1st to the 13th. This is 5.53. So at 5.53, let's just say five, it means that over the course of 13 days, they've seen an ad five times from Outdoor Adventure Marketing. And that's, you know, five can seem like a high frequency sometimes, but it's all relative. That's a 13 day period. So that's basically, they've seen the ad once every other day, or maybe a little bit more than that. It starts to get a little bit high, okay? Now, if you use this exact same, uh, now if you looked at it over a longer period of time, like if this frequency was over uh, 60 days, then they're only seeing your ad, you know, maybe two times per month. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start changing the, um, the, the time frames so that you can see how the frequencies change. So you can keep an eye on maybe that 5.5, I hate all the hover things. Uh, you can keep an eye on the 5.53 and then maybe the 1.84 or the, uh, the 1.51 here because those have been running for a while. So 5.53, 1.51. Now I'm gonna do last 30 days. So now it's 6.76 and 1.85. So it went up to 6.76, but over a longer period of time. So what that means is that it was probably being distributed more evenly in the first couple of weeks, and then in the last few weeks is probably getting more heavily served because 6.76 over 30 days makes the frequency less often. It makes it less frequent because it's approximately the once every five days or so, whereas before we are at once every two or three days. So over the last 13 days, they've been seeing the ad a lot more. Over the last 30 days, they've only been seeing about once every five days. So that's a very interesting pattern that we would want to look at. Uh, here you see this is still 1.85, about the same, and these were kind of all roughly the same. Now, if I switch this over to, let's say, yesterday, now we're looking at, all right, well, uh, the frequency for all of these is about one except for the first touch traffic. Like, why is that, on average, two people or two times per day? That means on average, people are seeing the ad twice in one day which is not exactly ideal. I mean, that, that starts to be quite a bit. So what we like to look at is a seven day period, and we like to be in the neighborhood of somewhere between one and two. And so what we see is like first touch traffic at 2.78, you know, let's just say three, that means that they've seen the ad on average three times over the course of a week. If they're at 1.34, then they've seen the ad on average 1.34 times. So two here, that's pretty good. 3.52, that's starting to get a little bit high. This is our retargeting audience, so that means that our audience list is a little bit too small for the size of budget we have based on the frequency we wanna hit. Facebook is trying to spend the budget, the audience is of a certain size, and it's basically saying, well, if you have this big budget with a small audience, we're just gonna keep hitting them and your frequency is gonna be very, very high. If you decrease the budget, then Facebook will moderate that and they will only then serve the ad uh, the appropriate number of times for your budget. So in this case at 3.52, if I wanna cut that in half, I would roughly decrease the uh, the budgets on here by, and this is, see, I mean, it's a small budget, $2 per day, because our audience size is, let's say, I don't know what it is, maybe 10,000. Um, if I decrease this to $1 per day, 
then they, the frequency would be even lower. But if you have a very small retargeting audience, um, because it's just our website traffic, then um, you know even 10,000 people in the world of digital marketing is just not a lot. I mean, you can hit those people really quickly. Um, so we could kick this down to $1 per day, which I'll just do right now. I mean, why the heck not? And uh, now the frequency should start to decrease. Now the alternative to that is you can increase the audience size. If you're using a saved audience, you can change the parameters. If you're using a lookalike, you can change the percentage or change how you're targeting geographically. So you have two different ways to adjust the frequency. The first one is through your budget. And the second one is through the audience size. And then this is how you analyze it. So you really don't want to be much higher than like three per week, I would say on average. Um, it starts to get a little bit high if you're beyond that. But if you feel as though maybe you're being underserved or if it's just one, it just means that everyone that's seeing your ad is just seeing it one time, which is fine. And if you have a very large audience, then one is going to be approximately what you have. When you have smaller audiences and when you're trying to really blanket a, a small narrow target, you don't want to harass them. You don't want to be annoying. I, I hate seeing ads like once or twice a day from the same company for weeks on end. I find it super annoying. So that's how uh, frequency works. I actually changed the breakdown, so by day, and then it shows the frequency here. So it's actually showing how the frequency changes over time, which is awesome. So if I look at the retargeting here, this is showing me that the retargeting frequency is 1.1, 1.6, 1.08, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then over time, however, it's 3.52. So the frequency for one day is one. However, the audience is so small that it's aggregating to 3.52 over the course of a week. So this can be misleading. This can also be a little bit misleading. So you need to know what frequency means. It means the number of time, the average number of times each person saw your ad in the time period that we are looking at. And in this case, this is the time period that we're looking at one single day. So a couple people are seeing the ad twice in one day. That's the 0.08, but most people are seeing it once. Over the course of seven days, December 6th to the 12th, these are adding up in weird ways because different people are seeing them and it's coming out to 3.52. So with frequency, the time period is just insanely, incredibly important and um, understanding that is very important. So you can look at the same things over here. You know, we're seeing ones. And then here on the first touch traffic, people are seeing it on average twice a day, but you can see it's not aggregating the same way the other one did and new people are seeing it twice a day, right? Or so like over the course of the entire audience, over the span of the entire audience, you're really seeing it twice a day. And so that's really, um, really important to take note of, all right? So that's all I have for Facebook frequency. There's a lot of questions around how it works and the time frame is often something that's overlooked. Um, if you have any questions, please comment. If you like the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. My name is Adam, I own Paracore. We do pay-per-click marketing. Hit up paracore.com if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.